Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. I'm back here today at Magic Mountain and today is National Roller Coaster Day actually. It's August 16, 2021 and kind of ironically I'm here to not ride coasters. <laughs> I'm here to get my gift card sorted out, see if there's any sort of announcements. I didn't see the track out in the parking lot. I don't know if they moved it or not and maybe buy a hat because I'm bald and I'm gonna get a sunburn. So let's check it out guys. <music> Okay, here I am inside the park. I am, actually guys, it's worth me noting that I am testing out my new Canon M50. I just bought this camera. I'm really liking it so far, but man, there's a lot more to it than just pointing and shooting with a phone. So yeah, can't wait to see how this video comes out. I am using the built-in mic as of right now. I'm going into the membership uh, office to see if I can get my gift card sorted out. Okay, so that was actually a really painless experience in uh, guest services over here in the front of the park. The lady was telling me that they shouldn't technically be letting me in with this camera, which is a bummer because I specifically bought this for vlogging Magic Mountain. Um, hopefully there's no problems in the future. I only have till next week to return it and get my money back. Man, I really like this camera. I hope I don't have to ditch it. But. I am excited to go and they have characters up front and everything. It looks like they're doing a lot of stuff for a National Coaster Day today. So yeah, I'm excited to get in the park. Let's check this out. So it's very curious. I had to park all the way out by Scream today, guys, but it doesn't look like there's a lot of people up front here. Actually, there was no line for guest services, which is just, that's totally rare for Magic Mountain, actually. There was no line to get into the ta into the gate where they scan your ticket, and it looks like there's no line in the Flash Pass headquarters, so I don't know what the heck is going on. Earlier today, Magic Mountain teased a uh, name for the new attraction. Steve. I am! <laughs> Alright, so I got two skip the lines for Goliath, but I just realized I don't really want to leave my camera <laughs> in the bin, man. So I might just give them away to some people. I just ran into some fans of the show, uh, or the vlog I should say, outside of the Flash Pass headquarters. So I kind of feel cool right now. If you guys are watching this, thanks for watching, man. That was really cool talking to you guys. And I will be getting another hat today, watch. Okay, so I just realized that I still had the game turned down when I was using the video mic go the other day, testing it out. I hope you guys could hear everything I just said before this. I'll try to uh, kind of edit it uh, in post-production, but we'll see what happens, man. All right, as far as the hats go, I'm digging this Dark Knight hat, man. That's cool, cool. sucker. It is $20. That's not bad. Focus. There we go. <laughs> Still learning this, guys. Right here we have the Flash. Actually, that's kind of a cool hat. 20 bucks. that's not bad, man. All right, guys. So I just picked up two hats from the Six Flags Emporium right here. Check this one out. Cyborg. Pretty cool, man. I like that one a lot. That's cool. Cyborg's rad, bro. And of course, the other hat I got is the real OG Superman. That's my jam, bro, right there. He's been fighting uh, evil since God knows when. Gotta say, I feel kind of cool with this hat. Is it a little bit too loud, guys? Let me know what you think. I don't know. <laughs> cool, though, man. Keeping my head from getting sunburned. Although I might get a little sunburn right there, like in a half moon shape. Yeah, walking up towards uh, Bugs Bunny World, it looks really empty today. That's a trip because there was so many cars in the parking lot, all the way back towards Scream, almost to the dirt lot, to the overflow lot, actually. Now, I am currently standing right in front of the Bugs Bunny World sign, right across here from uh, Speedy Gonzalez Hot Rod Racers. And if you come to this little sitting area right here, there's a sign right here, and here's a hidden relic in the park right here. This is the old monorail track, actually. I wish I could have seen that, guys. I think I was just too young to have never noticed it before. There goes Goliath. Now I got the two skip the lines for Goliath. But honestly, I, I'm not gonna leave this camera in the bin without like a backpack or anything. Um, if you guys haven't ridden Goliath and you're enthusiasts, just know that uh, Goliath sucks, guys. <laughs> so I'm not really missing out on much. 
it has one like kind of big drop at a, like a 45 degree angle and that's it after that it really doesn't do much to be honest so it's it's fun especially if you're a gp i guess but eh just man it actually does have a cool facade though guys big old letters goliath and right here that's the door you go in to get the uh the dull softer which is excellent i really recommend that guys especially the one with fruit so good it's actually better than disneyland believe it or not <laughs> Oh, it's windy right now. I want to see how the mic holds up to this, honestly. I don't know how it's going to do. Uh, there's a line for Lexus in front of him, but there was no line for Goliath, so I totally wasted my skip the lines anyways. I couldn't give them away if I wanted to, man. What a crap coaster. They need to take that out and put a B&M Hyper in, please. Or can we get a dive coaster like Six Flags Fiesta Texas is getting or something? Jeez. Let's go see what's happening in DC Universe, guys. Okay, the wind has let up for just a second walking down here. The wind was bad, guys. I really was not expecting that. Um, here's that wall that they extended out. I saw on a couple other guys' uh, YouTube already on their on their construction updates that they extended this. So this is nothing new. Luckily, this platform is still available over here. Man, I could see the drill right here. They're moving right along, aren't they? Oh, let's see what's going on here. Oh wow, yeah. They're digging footers right here now. God, they are flying, dude. They, I mean, West Coast Racers was nowhere near this fast, you guys. I followed that one from start to finish from a theme park obsession. That's kind of what inspired me to start doing this, but look at that. Man, they got, dude, they have a ton of work done over there. Wow, they have a, a lot more uh, footers coming down the hill there, too. That's crazy. I never catch them working because I always get here so late in the day. But man, they got a lot of stuff going on. They still have the facade there, it is still. And I can't get a good uh, exposure for that, but there is insulation inside there and uh, other kinds of building materials going on. Uh, I let out a video last week, guys, stating that I was thinking they were gonna release it. Uh, yesterday or today and they hinted today on their Facebook they said wonder what's next so kind of a a hint that it may be a Wonder Woman themed attraction coming we'll see I guess they're taking out Teen Titans Pizza huh and the lemonade stand I don't know they might leave them I'm very curious as to what kind of restaurants they're gonna have inside here guys who knows what do you guys think let me know in the comments I am so excited. I really hope they go all out with the theming in this area. That would just make it so freaking awesome here. Man, Riddler's Revenge rolling back there. Sweet. I'm super excited, man. All right, there's a spot in the entrance for Batman to ride right here where they have a, an opening in the fence. They throw out all the shrubbery right here along the fence. Four plants. There's Batman bothering me while I'm trying to work. <laughs> They got all this electrical going on still over here. I don't know what they're doing in there. And there we go, focus past the place. Uh, I'm sure they're shooting in electrical there. They got the something that they needed, apparently. It is very interesting to think, what could this new ride be themed to? They're keeping the old facade, guys. It looks like they're just gonna re-theme it. That is the Six Flags way, to be honest. Save money where you can. God, this is gonna be so cool. It's amazing how close Batman is to Riddlers, but you gotta walk so far. Hopefully we do away with all that coming up here really soon, guys. All right, guys, we're over here by the Hall of Justice, and we are peeking through the fence. These footers are, man, they are really making progress here, guys. I don't know all the technical terms for all this stuff, but that's obviously where the support structure pulls off in the footer. giant studs and nuts right there. That's rad, man. I don't have a lot to say. They are just chugging along like I said before. I am really excited. They are flying through this coaster, guys. Compared to how fast they normally install coasters, this is really fast, trust me. Dude, the Hall of Justice is totally still closed. I don't know what's up with that. They need to get that sucker going pretty quick here. I don't know what the problem is, but... 
it's a really popular ride and it's the only like air conditioned ride in the park so come on six flags get with it don't let it freaking just sit there and rot El air yeah it's not as busy as the parking lot would suggest guys it was really packed i mean the walkways right here are kind of packed but it seems like the queue lines for the rides are fairly empty actually to be honest the only long line i saw was for lex luther's drop of doom and maybe jamming bumpers now nah, just kidding there's like not even a food line at johnny rocket that is crazy man never will you see this during a weekend at Magic Mountain. Well, maybe in February. And down the hill there, you'll see the Stream Punk District with, which owns the right to lay claim to the best coaster in the park, Twisted Colossus. And there goes Superman. <laughs> Kinda loud. No telling when we're gonna get the other side going, guys. That car's been on the track facing forward for months now. Hopefully soon, I'd love to ride it in its original glory. It was actually really scary back then, <laughs> in my opinion. Of course, I was a kid when I rode it, so who knows. Yeah, at this point, guys, I've pretty much sweated in this uh, Superman hat, so it's officially mine now. I laid claim to it, I marked it. It is mine. One thing I can say for certain is from a distance, Viper looks really cool. There went the train for X2. Those people were about to go on the craziest ride of their lives, trust me. If you haven't been here and ridden that, you have to do it. It's on every coaster enthusiast bucket list, I'm sure. I'm opting today for a somewhat healthy treat or a meal at Six Flags Plaza Cafe. They have turkey sandwiches and salads and stuff if you guys are interested. And they got some goodies. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Whole fridge full of little pastries. So I have opted for the extra normal Caesar grilled chicken salad. It's like just a salad that you buy prepackaged from a store or even a gas station, I guess. <laughs> because of this little ranch or a creamy Caesar, I mean and a cup of water because i'm trying to really watch my weight guys i'm kind of excited to eat this i guess but to be honest i'm right here under revolution while it's going by sitting right here in front of the six flags plaza where the uh waterfalls are and all the fountains and everything and it's actually pretty nice just to sit here and watch people walk by while i eat my food get away b i don't want you to behave Guys, this salad isn't actually that bad. I know it looks really boring on camera, but and it looks boring in real life. But whatever factory whipped this out, thank you guys, wherever you are, wherever you may be. It's pretty good, actually. <laughs> thank you to the custodial and maintenance crew at Magic Mountain. You guys see this. We appreciate you guys. There goes one of the street performers. One of the stilt people. <laughs> I don't know what they're called, man. Pretty cool, though. That'd be a cool job. All right, guys, I had my salad. I downed my gross Six Flags cup of water. I am fat and happy right now. And I am leaving the park. I know this was a short vlog. It is National Coaster Day and I didn't even ride a coaster. But I did give two skip the lines away and those girls were extremely happy, so. Not that they need them, though. The junk's all them. <laughs> There's no line. Wait. Attention, mortals. Six Flags Fright Fest. I didn't even get any signs of this in the park, so. There's one right there. Six Flags Fright Fest. The nightmare has begun. Demonic relics and creatures have arrived in the park. All right, that's cool. A little sign that they're prepping for Fright Fest. I am very excited for that, as is a lot of friends of mine, actually. Not Rena though. She's not happy about it. <laughs> to be honest, this was kind of a selfish vlog, guys. I wanted to test out my new camera, and it seems to have worked pretty well, but I really won't know until I get home and dissect this footage. So, it's been real, and it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. <laughs> I'm Steve, guys, and we're done.
Well, guys, I am gonna hang out here for a minute. Hopefully the bus is running right now. I rode it over here. I don't wanna walk back. I am all the way at the end of the parking lot. So far. Everybody who's been to Magic Mountain knows what I mean. It is far, man. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna wait, hang out, and see what happens. Aha! Uh -huh. I found you. 